Rhinesha Gretsch, Shania Gretsch, and their friend Chloe Denman tortured a innocent girl for four hours. Her name is Kira Hart. Today, we are going to be talking about these three scumbags and what they have been posting on social media since the incident. Kira got tortured because they wanted to have quote unquote fun. Trigger and content warning for the following. Here is the aftermath of what Kira had to endure for four hours at the hands of these stupid little bitches. I don't give a shit that they are underage. If you want to act like an adult, you'll get treated like one. Let us see what they have been posting to social media. Okay, you can't need to calm the F down because I didn't effing torture her like WTF. I wouldn't do that. This chick named Chloe held her in her house for one hour and Chloe bashed me and cut her leg, didn't stab her. I told Chloe to put the knife down, so she did. I went into my mate's room and was on the phone to my mates and I didn't know what was happening at the time. I walked out out and saw what she was doing, I told Chloe to get the F off her and told Kira to leave. I walked her home and took her to the hospital. So that's the whole story. So people making up rumors that I did it, well, I didn't, okay? That chick that actually did it, she has gone away for a long time. I've been to court about this and we have apologized and me and Kira are fine now. We are mates. She said she was sorry for even coming over to my mate's house. So yeah, I don't believe word that you're saying. And you want to know why I don't believe anything you're saying? I have met girls like you in high school and girls like you were the dumbest bitches. Seriously, because look at, look at what you said on your TikTok. Just tortured someone, kind of. I don't know if it was like keep it hostage or something because they just walked out and, and she was at house. It's Kira. She was at her house and we just pumped her and we are just like torturing her for these four hours straight mm -hmm. and it was funny as fuck. So she's like full mm -hmm. fucked up. Like all of a sudden your photos of her face. They actually mounted her. You literally admitted that you were involved in it. And you've been sending DMs to people telling them that you should have bashed Kira more. Someone had contacted one of the mothers of these girls. I don't know whether it's Chloe's or the other two girls, but they said, I think you should know what your daughter has done here. My girls are a witness in this. They were forced to do it by older men. They are now on witness protection. I can't believe the lies. Seriously, the lies are so fascinating to me because if there were really older men, why didn't we see that in the video? And Kira's statement as well doesn't say anything about that. So Chloe, one of the girls who was torturing Kira says, I don't apologize for what I did, neither do my girls. Thanks for the fame. Guys, just leave me alone. I've said sorry and you're not the cops. It's not any of your business and I'm tired of the hate. I'm innocent until proven guilty and I've been told by the cops not to mention anything. Everyone is chatting shit. That's not true. Kira isn't as innocent as you all think. So here is a statement from Kira. Um, the three girls that were my mates told me to come over and I did. They locked the door, threatened me, saying they will kill me and my family. They took my phone and shoes. They hit me with bottles, vapes, and knives. They stomped on my head multiple times, tied up my hands and shit. They stabbed me and like just everything for four hours straight and just for fun as well. No reason. They poured drinks on me, slammed me into walls. Their mum wasn't home. They were in Brizzy. Rhinesha's is also posting onto TikTok saying, make me famous, hashtag famous, hashtag viral. Um, I I'm at a loss of words. And mostly I'm at a loss of words because what are teenagers of today doing? Are you guys that desensitized to this kind of shit because of social media? Or you think that this is the right way to go about things? Because it's not. Because you three will all receive your karma. I don't care how young you kids are. You want to act like this? You'll get treated accordingly. So just be aware because I feel like y'all actually would have killed her. I mean, we, we just saw her face. The videos I saw, oh my God, they were so heartbreaking. I, I just started 
I'm crying, dude, because I can't even imagine being invited over by my friends and them just deciding to beat the fucking living daylights out of me for four hours. All of you should be ashamed of yourselves and your parents too. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know how you raise children to be like that. I've never, uh, people just don't do that shit. They just don't. And I, I feel so terribly horrible for Kira and the fact that she is now going to be traumatized forever for this. Could you, she's not gonna trust anyone after this. You know what's gonna happen? People are gonna invite her over to their houses or to anywhere in the future and she's gonna get triggered by that and think of exactly what happened to her. Now, what I wanna final, finally say is just because someone does something that you don't like and this is this is going uh, towards what you said that Kira isn't innocent supposedly, which I, <laughs> I highly doubt that, but let's just hypothetically say that she isn't. Nothing in the world that you could do would have it be okay for you to take punishments into your own hands and do this. There, There is no reason, there's no justification. I don't care what you thought she did that was so wrong that she deserved this. You kids are disgusting and vile and you will be shamed for it. I don't care. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be linking Kira's GoFundMe down in the description box below. My heart goes out to her and I hope she is resting up okay and doing well during these times. Thank you.